Here's a bucket of blue seal, not sponsored, available right here in Canada. Right, we're beginning the whole process here. You can clearly see the bottom plate of the framing. I'm just brushing any gunge or dust out of the way. You can see the foam gasket there too. Nice, nice shape. Now, you should fill the holes in where the smooth edge came up. That's the stuff that keeps the carpet down. It leaves quite big holes when you take that out. So I filled that with some thin set and you should let that dry overnight before you start this. So brush on whatever material you're using. Here we're using the blue seal. Fairly liberally. You want to get a good thick coat on there. Use a small brush, just fits in that gap. That gap I cut, obviously, an inch and three quarters off the bottom of the drywall. So you can do this. Then bed your two inch fiberglass tape. Now this is fiberglass tape for fixing boats with, not for drywalling with. You can see it's a different type of tape. And just push it in with your finger in the middle there, just bed it in and then apply some more material over the top of it. Bit of pressure, so it's pushing up against that two by four. And you just want to get the whole thing, nice thick coat, doesn't have to be perfect, but it's basically even, flat, no wrinkles, and a good seal. And this will stop any moisture that you might have coming up underneath that bottom plate most likely on an outside wall. You're not going to find that happening on an inside wall unless you've got real moisture problems. But So that's it completed there. And um, basically you wait till the next day before you do the next process, which we'll go on to in a minute. But you can see it there, it's looking good. So this is the next day. You can see it's dried up nicely. It's gone that lovely dark blue, gone right around the room with it. So now we're going to start actually troweling the floor. And first, it's good to prime it with a roller, pressing fairly hard and just get a very thin coat of material on there just to key it into the cement. It just helps it adhere better. Just gently roll it on there like that. A given area enough so you can just comfortably trowel that and reach. So now you're going to plop a bit of your material on there, a couple of dollops, and get your 16th inch notched trowel. Now this trowel is going to give you your thickness. You can see right here that the teeth in the trowel are basically setting the thickness of the material you want nice and evenly. And this is the easiest troweling to do. You don't have a ceiling to contend with or a wall, gravity to fight. This just on the floor is good practice. So just gently stroke it on the floor there. You'll see, you can see from here, when it's pretty even. And it doesn't have to be perfect. You'll actually notice I leave a couple of quite big ridges here, which I actually did get rid of after I turned the camera off. But for the most part, especially to the right of the screen, you can see it's nice and even. And you're going to cover the whole floor like this and let it dry, probably a whole night, and go over it again with a flat trowel. Here's the entire floor now troweled, still wet, took me about an hour and a half. An oscillating fan in the doorway overnight is really going to help this dry. You're not going to have any fumes or smell. And in my mind, this is way easier than trying to roll out vapor barrier, join it, tuck it up the plate to form a really good waterproof seal. This is so much easier and it does a better job. Now your next process is to go over the whole thing with a flat trowel. Uh, don't be alarmed, it's a bit sticky. 
and it stays sticky for days, but don't worry about it. You can kneel on it, you can walk on it with socks, it's fine. You're going to be putting an underlayment over this anyway if you're using engineered floor. And so get your flat trowel and just gently, don't have to press too hard, fill in those grooves. It's really easy. And it goes quite a long way, the second coat as well. And if you find you've got some high spots from the previous coat, you know, maybe there's a, a spot where you took the trowel off and left a little bit of a notch, you can actually uh, cut those out and just refill them in. In fact, there's one right here. And you can just sort of scrape it off. And it, you can see how well it sticks to the cement. I mean, it's, it's pretty good. Better than vapor barrier. And then just fill it in. It's pretty forgiving. So there's your waterproof floor. That's it.